Hello everybody, welcome to another daily dose of gaming news and all the good stuff. And before I start, I also publish on Rumble and I'm on these socials just for extra support if you like it. And let's get started. Um, yesterday there was like some pricing issues uh, with the Ryzen 7950X3D, at least on AMD site. Um, I don't know really what happened there. There was like uh, the, the 7900 uh, 7950 x3d was like 100 100 dollars off and the uh, 7900 x3d was 50 per, uh, 50 dollars off something like that uh i think there was an error for all these purposes but there is a promotion ongoing i think in best buys at least um in this article of tom's hardware uh, i will leave this uh, the, the the link of this article um if you are interested um, regarding with updated price with some discounts and it's not a bad discount here 14% off or something like that <clears throat> which is good um, and of course the 7800 XCD is not on discount because it's just launched uh, but yeah uh, if you're interested if you want an excellent uh, the, the top tier gaming um, CPU it is the 7800 XCD um, and if you want a cheap one uh, that can manage basically anything at it, uh, you can, I think the 17600 non-X version, it's a very good value, and it already brings like a stock cooler, so no extra money um, on that, but uh, in terms, for example, for gaming, like a good mid-range gaming and productivity work CPU, the 7700 uh, X version, it's a very excellent option also, or uh, the non X. I prefer the non X because you can have like the stock cooler, which is better than the 7600. And uh, it, it with the PVO stuff on, on the BIOS, so basically like the overclocking get basically the same performance and it's uh, relatively cheaper. Uh, because at this price point, $400 almost, you might as well save a little bit more and for 60 bucks, you get you get the 7800X3D. Even though it's excellent for gaming, it's not that uh, good uh, compared with the 77 on productivity work. And yeah, basically it's just like a, an update on, on the listings here. Um, I, 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 uh, I watched this, like MD is launching like their media accelerator card um which is uh, it, it it's it's a expensive like hell but this is not at the moment for um private users this is more for companies but the the, the how they're going about it is very interesting because they basically managed to input like in one card encoding stream uh it, it is like a service for uh, UG, the, the dealing with huge uh, data stream stuff, uh, it's, for example, can handle like 32 streams on 1080p, 60fps, uh, a lot of stuff around that, and it's like the, the uses the Avion compression, um, but this is kind of technology um, trickle down to like uh, normal consumers, it's good because it basically what it does, it's pick up the signal of the stream, and then you can, for like professional streamers, they can uh, at the same time um, stream to different platforms. Uh, let's say Twitch, YouTube, Rumble, or any other platforms at the same time with excellent quality AV1, it's very good. And the fact this is from AMD, it's uh, blowing up the, the competition regarding uh, like server stuff for uh, um, especially from uh, Intel, because Intel has also these kind of things. But if, but what this does with... Uh, with uh, because this is part also the acquisition of uh, e E-Syncs. Uh, sorry, I forgot the name. Uh, Link Scenes or something like that, which is like the ch one of the cheap stuff that they bought like a few, uh, a few time ago. Um, it basically, it, it does... Um, like the the in to do the same kind of job they do like in server farms for uh, streaming st stuff it can does better to a certain point but it occupies like less 10 percent uh, less 10 percent less 10 times the space and energy to do so uh, it's a huge uh, uh, jump on this kind of technologies but uh, because this is integrated in like a simple card 45 watts can be plugged in a pci express stuff 
um, if you manage to trickle down not doesn't mean doesn't need to be that like potent per se um, and of course making it a little bit cheaper for for streamers i think it's 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 very good and if it, this this kind of cards also allows you to basically host your streams and all all that little things here it's a curiosity thing but it's good to see that these new technologies they are basically more cheaper and they kind of re uh, revolutionized this kind of the, the space it's always good to see uh, regarding games uh, <laughs> last of us part one pc patch it, it was launched in yesterday uh, but i think it's still a lot of stuff needs to be uh, patched uh, still there is still uh, some crashes uh, i think the people who have like 30 and 40 series from nvidia so didn't see basically any kind of um optimizations basically but i think they managed to to optimize the compilation of shaders and a little bit of vram usage even though it's not it's way far from perfect uh, but th th there was like this tester guy <clears throat> sorry where i saw something uh, th i want to mention his name um sorry going around up and down yeah l analista debits uh maybe spanish or something um it, 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 the guy went like went for on a deep dive and still it's a lot of crashes um problems with shadows and textures i think it's the popping up i think this has to do a lot with uh, how synchronous uh, because of the, there is a lot of vram uh, usage issues here i think a lot of stuff is being stored on the on the ram system and then when it's being called out it's not giving priority on on the um the textures and shadows that need to be processed in the gpu stuff uh, i suppose because usually um these things uh, when you have like a lot of pop-ins and outs it's because the the, um, the things are not well optimized to the point that the things that need to be shown on the screen they are not on the vram and if they are they are not being optimized enough in, in terms of the the background thing to to show up properly at the at the proper time to, so it doesn't have the pop-up um issue uh, but yeah still a lot of work to be done um it's a shame that, uh, of course, there is a lot of hardware issues. The the, the fact that the, the, uh, I've been seeing some videos regarding like VRAM uh, thing and eight gigabytes. It's it's starting this year. Eight gigabytes is only enough for 1080p uh, gameplay. Twelve gigabytes of VRAM, maybe for 1440p in like medium high settings but uh, we are we are going to start to see a lot of uh, bottlenecking and a lot of performance issues even if the game is well optimized in 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 a, uh, in a lot of games in the in a, in a lot especially in nvidia hardware because uh, like stutters pop-ups uh, crashes because of vram optimization and uh, communication with the, the the system ram we are going to start to see a lot of it because uh, from what i can get uh, when you want this kind of level of detail the complexity starts to get so so ramped up that uh, you need a lot of vram to to handle those textures and, and those shadows and all that thing the shaders that need to be then processed in the gpu and plus the fact that you're having technologies, for example, the CPU will start to able to access directly the VRAM on the GPU in like in in some kind of processes that they are going to be implementing in DirectX 12 API. Plus the fact you have like direct storage uh, technology also being implemented in PCI Express 5 SSDs that will also have access direct to to the VRAM. And if you have if you have uh, like it, in these cards from nvidia especially for the 70 ti and below with low memory bus so the pipeline the the, the pipe the, the the thickness of the pipe to to for the uh the information to flow it's slower it, it, and it's uh, like more constricted and the fact that it has less uh, amount of vram to be used this is going to be a huge a huge deal regarding nvidia but then they are apple they just want to sell you technology they want to sell sell, sell you the cloud services they want to sell the tlss fake frame rates shit which is completely insane um 
again, it's in very specific and rare cases, I think it's a good technology to be applied, but it's in a, in an overall broad gaming scene, it's it's not worth it. It's it's you're not paying for 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 that experience to be seen with fake frame rates. Then you have uh, pl uh, plus the, the 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 fact that the upscaling technology it's not what it, what they're trying to say it is. But yeah, I will not start ramble too much here. Um, we got Lord of the Fallen. I, I need to change gears. Lord of the Fallen. Uh, supposedly it will have like tutorials or something like that I, I didn't understand very well from the article um because one of the things that, and i understand their point of view what they are trying to do which is for example in dark souls you don't have like anything you just have like a basic tutorial of this is the button to to, uh, to attack to defend to parry and pretty much it and then just go around the world and try to figure out how the game works basically which is one of the things that is uh, um, attracts me in this kind of in this kind of souls like games it's how they launch you to the world and figure out uh, things by yourself uh, here i think they are trying to get around and get i don't know if it is like tutorial stuff here i don't know I'm not sure we'll see how it goes um but yeah but I, I don't think there's anything wrong it's i think they are thinking a uh, different kind of approach regarding this kind of things and i'm going to wrap up here with some uh gaming deal no man's sky 50 percent off i didn't i'm not sure that i mentioned already this uh i think it, it went on the this promotion yesterday uh, they got the new um how they call it, intercepted update i think it had a lot of more gameplay stuff and it's uh, now it's a recommendation that i can give <coughs> regarding this game and there's this still on epic game store Whoop, little loading issue here uh dying light and edition is still on the free until april 13th so um basically this is it i will wrap up for today um hope you have a wonderful day i will see you in the next one so until then let me mess it up